Edward Elgar's Cello Concerto in E minor is one of the most performed and best loved works in the classical repertoire. The concerto was written after the Great War by the British composer, and many feel that it reflects Elgar's own anguish at the suffering of that war, mourning for a world changed forever. But some see a more intimate story behind the concerto, one of love and loss that has a deeply personal link to the composer's life. realizing it himself was writing a piece of music not only as an old man looking back on his career and having to face getting older and getting closer to dying and all of that trauma and what that brings but at a whole generation of lost British society that was never to be again what was going on in, in France in 1916 is uh, something totally new to men's consciousness. The cello concerto expresses heartbreak at the scale and horror of the war. But there is a theory that it was one death in particular that compelled the composer to begin writing the concerto. You don't feel that there's a note of Elgar in any of his music that doesn't have a reason, something from his experience and from his connection with people. Um, the Elgar Cello Concerto is a work of such poignancy. It had to be about somebody. It had to be something that moved him in a way we can't begin to imagine. Kenneth Munro, a young New Zealander, was killed on the Western Front in 1916. Elgar had once been in love with Kenneth's mother, Helen Weaver who left him and emigrated to New Zealand. Unlike Elgar, whose fame has ensured him an archive, Helen has remained elusive, leaving few traces. But Oxford musicologist Professor Brian Trowell believes that Kenneth's death and the composer's enduring feelings for Helen Weaver shaped the music of the concerto. At the very end of his life, he suddenly started telling his oldest friend about this girl. This girl he'd had to give up who'd gone to New Zealand. She mattered to him all his life long. And here is one of her children, dying. And he's suddenly having to imagine a mother's grief. And, and suddenly I realized the cello concerto was not at all a simple proposition and has a very strange, fragmented, broken history. <laughs> 